the way each page looks is there's a, a frame that shows a landscape. And there's also a frame that shows 10 in one stack. And there's a numeral. So then as you turn the page, it's the same landscape, but there's been some development. And again, we see the number represented here and the numeral represented here. And there's lots of examples of one. There's one sun, there's one snowman, there's one skier, there's one tree, there's one bridge. There's anything that you find in this landscape, there's one. I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of a closer look. We have a Xerox copy of page five. And I'm going to ask you and your partner to make a list of all the ways you see five. There's five in this wedding industry. I think that's a personal well, no. one because there's all sweet windows that are square windows. I'm just going to like five tree trunks. Five o'clock on the clock. Clock, yeah. It's going to be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> but let's just start listing how you saw five represented on this page. So I'm going to, yeah, just point, I'm going to kind of just pop around because I know you guys all have lots of lists. Go ahead. Um, five puffs of smoke okay. coming out of the train. Pamela, you noticed something else about the train with five. What did you notice? Oh, they had the number five one. Yeah, there. it's engine number five. Yeah, go ahead. Five adults. Five adults. And how, how did you count the adults? I see two, two, and one. Which, which group of adults did you notice first? Well, I actually saw 10 people first, and then I tried to figure out how to make that into five, and uh -huh. I realized there were five kids and five adults. Okay, so it depended on how you labeled it. To make it five, we had right. to get more specific in the unit. Okay. But I want to point out that there are many uses of number, and they're all represented here. So the, the kind of counting up to five that we did very naturally, knowing it was a five page, we counted five of a lot of things, five cats, five clouds, five trees. That's the cardinal use of number, right? It's the use of number that tells how many are in the set. As a society, we've created a reference system, a scale to mark time. We're not actually counting five of anything. We've just designated a unit of time. We've counted five hours, we're at five o'clock. It doesn't connect to any cardinal relationships, but it connects to a, a frame, a reference frame. Those are more challenging for kids because they don't have a good handle on what they refer to. What about this, when we call engine number five? What's five about that engine? Nothing, right? It's just what we name it, it's like a code. So that's the nominal use of number. There's one other use of number that maybe is a little harder to pull out of here. I try, I, thinking if we think about the order of the freight cars, when we count things in order, that's ordinal use of numbers. So we could say maybe the fifth, fifth car behind the engine. So just thinking about all the uses of numbers is one of the big ideas that we have for number sense. And this um, slide just kind of gives us, you know, reminds us of all the ways we use number in everyday life that have different meanings for kids. That's just something we as adults need to keep in mind that we use the same language for, to mean all of those things.